Yep. Come in, come in. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy, here it goes. Oh! Hey guys, welcome to Rotorite. I'm Bubby FPV. I'm Les Flaherty. I'm Peter FPV. And usually our drones are made of carbon fiber. That's right. But you have something special. I haven't seen it. Peter hasn't seen it. Can you like you want to unveil it for us? A lot of people have tried to do this in the past and have failed. And How, it what, is, what does it look like to fail? Like, what do you mean they failed? Well, I'll tell you in a second. I've got a 3D printed drone. Okay. And you might be thinking, 3D mm -hmm. printed drone, that could be very strong, right? Yeah. Well, Bamboo Labs sent me this awesome new 3D printer, the X1 Carbon, and I wanted to try to use it to print a drone with carbon fiber infused oh. filament. Oh. So okay. let's see if carbon fiber 3D printed oh. drone in 2023 can actually make a difference. Mm -hmm. Check this out. That would be really interesting. 3D printed drone. <laughs> oh, Bam. Oh. It looks like carbon fiber, doesn't it? What? Yeah, like I can't even tell. I can't like, not you tell. You can't really tell that it's made of plastic. The, so this is actually carbon fiber infused nylon. That is strong, and, dude. What the heck? Yeah, what? it's really strong. Like I'm and, not gonna break it, but like, yeah, that's I a figured, little bit of flex, but that's uh, impressive. Yeah, I figured what better frame than the tank to test the durability of this stuff, and what better place to take it than Detroit? Yep. For to real. bash it, right? And let's see how long it lasts before it's broken. Yeah, I mean your right? your your tank design has definitely proven its durability with carbon. So like, can people just three D print their arms now? Well, let's check it out. I will tell you that I had some failures along the way. This frame right here, for example, was made with carbon fiber infused PLA. And unfortunately, the carbon fiber didn't solve the problem with that PLA has in Florida where you leave it in your car and the heat of the car <laughs> melts the crap out of it. This looks really funny. That's oh all my gosh. Bended, yeah. it's, it's, like, it's funny because far it looks like carbon fiber and then it's just like So this, this whole frame was 3D printed with carbon fiber infused PLA. PLA is an organic material that's better for the environment. It's very inexpensive, but unfortunately it prints at a very low temperature so it melts easy if you leave it in your car in Florida. So you don't wanna be, leave it, you don't wanna leave it in the car in Florida or it looks like this. So I mean, I've seen 3D printed drones before and a lot of you guys are gonna comment that, but like, so carbon fiber infused is what's the difference, is that's the difference. Right, right exactly. So this is carbon fiber infused nylon. Whoa. Bamboo Lab sent me this awesome X1 carbon 3D printer, which is able to print materials that my normal 3D printers can't print because it prints at really high temperatures. For example, this carbon fiber infused nylon yeah. prints at 290 degrees Celsius, which is really hot for a 3D printer. Cool, so like um, most 3D printers just don't have the specs to basically print this. Right, filament. they don't okay. have the capability to print something that hot. Bamboo Labs X1, Carbon actually prints it like three times the speed of my Robo 3D, which is what I had previous to that. So nice. it's, it's crazy. Not only does it print like way better, but it prints way faster. I mean, yeah. I'm really excited just like to see if it's actually any dirt. Like if this can take one crash and not break, I'll yeah. be like, that's a win. I know, I believe. Like, yeah, I agree. Because yeah, I think every other 3D printed drone frame that I've seen <laughs> is like, first off, first extremely off, weak. First off, it flies terribly because there's so much flexing. This doesn't yeah. have much flexing. And mm -hmm. also, first crash or even a hard landing. Whoosh, yeah, this is more of a proof of concept than anything. Well, let's get it up in the air and, and check it out. Who wants to fly first? You, one of you guys. Oh. I, I built rock, it, paper, you guys can fly it. Rock, you know paper, how it works. I built it, oh, you guys rock, break paper, it, scissors, scissors, shoot. shoot. <laughs> you want to fly first? I'll fly first. You're fine. I'll let him fly first, because I always fly stuff. Yeah, you, to got, you guys, to be fair, I haven't broken many of your projects, so. <laughs> okay, all right, here you go, man. I'm gonna move it away. Don't break it now. This is my prized possession, all right? I got a new These guys always break my drones. If you break my drone, I'll be really sad. I'll be really sad. I'll have to break the cycle. Okay. <laughs> You'll have to break the cycle? Well, yeah, I've sure. never flown with this small radio or a beta flight pod. So. Yeah, I know. I, everybody complains about my radio. We just went ahead and put a GoPro Hero 11 on there, and I intentionally turned off Hypersmooth so that you guys can really see like what vibrations there are, or if there's any weird flight characteristics. So just so you guys get a better idea of what's actually happening on the quad. That's nice. so weird. All right. <laughs> Let's do this. Oh, wow. Oh, that sounds good. What the heck? Okay, oh. we're good. We're good. Okay. Yeah. We got some jitters or something. The GoPro, maybe? It's probably the tune. Or the, you think the GoPro changed something? Yeah, maybe, because it's heavier now. Yeah. Okay. I mean, just give it a little full throttle blip. Right, you got your little power lines, yeah. though. Be careful. Yeah, I'm going to go over here real quick. I mean, it looks, it looks decent, it just has a weird sound. Yeah, don't fly over our heads. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, don't fly over <laughs> our heads. It looks decent, like, but it just has a weird sound. I don't, I can't it's tell. It's probably the tune. It's probably oh, it's the 100%. tune. 100%. Yeah. I, realistically, I think it's more the carbon fiber yeah. arm. I gave it a quick tune. Go on uh, inside. With, you know, just to make sure that it would fly for us. Ooh. Yeah. But I didn't tune with a GoPro, we just added a GoPro, so that probably made a difference for Probably's sure. I mean, I guess, Peter, you're you're ripping it. What do you what do you feel? It feels good, it's just that, that shakiness, that, that tune. But other than that, like it's flying good, I'm turning good. Let me see, let me see if I can do a power loop here, watch. Yeah. Let's go do a power loop, let's go in here. <laughs> and there goes the episode. <laughs> <laughs>
Ooh. Oh, oh yeah. yep, I'm not used to this. Are the shakes that we're hearing, do you actually feel them? Like, can you actually see the quad shaking? Yeah, I can you actually can? see the quad okay. shaking, yeah. Oh, so wow. it's giving me a little bit of issues. So it's yeah. pretty bad. Because so, yeah. sometimes you just hear something, but it flies fine. A little split, that's okay. Let's, let's go back for this power loop. It's a big power loop. Yeah, because I don't want to... I'm not used to these rates. <laughs> 700, I'm used to 1100, so these oh are like, gosh. yeah, yeah. 1100. I started with 1100. 1100. Yeah, I started with really high rates like okay, that too. There we go. There we go. Got the power loop. All right, woo, we got it. A little roll in there. Oh, oh I forgot yeah. this is 700 rates. You gotta hold it longer. You gotta hold it longer, yeah, exactly. Yeah. One of these Detroit power lines that you don't see will just grab it and just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the, it, you know, like most places have ghost branches, Detroit has ghost metal wires <laughs> <laughs> yeah sick uh, i didn't catch no i'm not doing that gap <laughs> 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 i'm not gonna break your drone uh, everybody else do does. a little reverse look at he's so nice i know That's, so everyone's nice. really nice when they first like fire drones i know and then they're and they hang out with the vanny roll <laughs> Woo! We made it back in one piece! We made it back in one piece. Hooray! Hooray! You didn't die on the first flight. That's <laughs> awesome. That's a success right So was there. it a terrible experience? The shakiness, yes. <laughs> shakiness. Do oh, you, really? Do you think you were able to like... It was, it was just... It I was don't vibing, know. huh? Yeah, it was vibing. I don't know if it's your camera mount or something, but... No, it's I, I you, could probably, you can hear it. I could probably yeah, fix you can the tune really yeah. quick, and I could probably solve the issue with that really quick. Lower the master slider. Cool. One more, one more, two more I, notches. I don't think like it hurts that. if it takes really fast. Yeah, the motors are hot as yeah, so I'm they don't actually, actually they're not that hot, but they're warm. It's definitely the GoPro that changed things. Yeah. Because last minute I was like. Because you had a tune for it without, huh? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It was much lighter without yeah. the okay. GoPro. Okay. Throttle blip. There you go. Oh, yeah. That flies good yeah. now. Okay. That flies fine. Yeah, it's fine. That's right. Your battery's dying, dude. Let's see how it handles the Babito. Your your goggle foam is uh, really nice. The Babito. Random point. That's the DJI foam. Really? Yeah, the DJI foam and the Walks Out goggles. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, much better. Yeah. It doesn't sound all fluttery anymore. It was just a tune. We're good. I mean, it, doesn't, it doesn't sound all fluttery, but it... It still feels bad? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't like... Well, it's detuned. Defined bad. Oh, geez. Oh, that's a lot of prop wash. We didn't have Tyler tune this one. This was tuned by Sean, who's not very good at tuning, so... I mean, also, we have three printed a little floppy, but I mean, yeah. like, realistically, if you were to give him this quad and, like, say, hey, can you fly this for me and see what's up? I would just be like, yeah, your tune sucks. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't think you have different arms on there. I mean, for me, the, the I you, I think you can tune it to fly good. We just didn't do it. You don't right. have the time. It doesn't, doesn't matter. No, I'm, I'm not, I hate tuning. I hand my drones to Tyler. I don't, I don't know how to tune them. them. Yeah, I think th this this one would take a lot of work realistically. Like it'd be out for like 30 minutes to an hour, which I don't yeah, like I, we don't have time for that. I think the biggest thing, the biggest test for this is when we crash it, is it just gonna break instantly? Because yeah, like. I mean, yeah, we're gonna have to give it the durability test for sure. Random point, but like sometimes if you have a frame and it's like, oh crap, my arm broke and I can't buy an extra. Either yeah. you buy a new frame, like like a different frame, which build mm -hmm. that one up, or is this a viable option to just 3D print something if you need, if you really want to fly in a pinch? You know, what if you broke an arm and you don't have an arm and you just needed to 3D print one out of four arms? Well, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah just to have a backup yeah. temporarily until your arm arrives from rotoriot.com. Well, yeah, that's you what know? I'm saying. Yeah, like this just as like a, if, if you really need to fly, you really, oh geez, Boy, it's power it's lines. Good. Like if you really want to fly, is this good enough? And we'll see when we crash it. I mean, yeah. there's this wall here that we should just throttle it into at the end of it. <laughs> or we could just try a trick <laughs> until we crash. So you were saying any printer can print those or just? If you're going to use nylon, you're going to have to be able to print at 290 degrees Celsius. You have to have a certain type of nozzle on there. Bamboo has a special 3D print nozzle on their actual extruder that allows it to print harder materials like carbon fiber. So a regular nozzle is not going to be hard enough to print the, th the carbon fiber infused materials. They sent me carbon fiber infused PLA, PETG, and nylon. And after PLA failed, I went straight to the max, which is nylon, just because, you know, I wanted to print with the hardest material they had. Hardest material they had. You know, not why take chances, so. Carbon infused nylon. Right, I, I hit one gap with it. Oh, you got it? Nice. Nice. Magic oh, that was cool. Okay, Ooh. that was cool. Cool little roll in Did we the hit dive? the record button on the GoPro? I did, yeah. See, loop the power lines. I don't, can't really see them, but oh well. <laughs> Yeah, I mean like, oh, I hit a little branch. It's okay, you can you're landscaping, you're landscaping. <laughs> hit it again, oh, gee, it's so, flies so, like, I don't, I can't tell like what, what of it is me complaining about how your radio feels versus the rates, but. Yeah, rates, um, the radio, the tune, you got all kinds of weird stuff going on. Yeah. That you're not used to. 
Yeah, it's not happy when doing this. <laughs> man, you're really you're really pushing it hard, man. Wow. It's it's hand, it's handling it. Yeah, I, I haven't I, I haven't gotten I was any so of those. I'm so scared to push it that hard because my yeah, so much. I haven't gotten any of those crazy vibrations. That's that good. We were that like that happened earlier in this battery. Oh jeez. <laughs> you keep almost hitting that power line over and over again. <laughs> Hit another guy. Oh jeez. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, I yeah. see this stuff moving around inside the bando. Guys, I want to see a Maddie flip into one. Into a gap with this drone? Do it. Sure, do it. Oh, Let's no. go. Okay, get, get a new battery. Get a new battery for me. So now we're just gonna we'll send in some tricks and if, if I some if this thing somehow survives like <laughs> these little minor crashes or just like if I make it through my pack at the end of it, we're just gonna throttle it into a wall and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could go straight down to the ground like Barwell did, you know? Honestly, <laughs> I'm down. So we use all 3D printed arms on this, and I'm like trying to think in my brain like, okay, if I had this printer or mm -hmm. any printer that could print this and I didn't have an arm, would one arm still fly as good? I, I think so. I think it would get you so. where you need to be yeah. for the day. It'll mm -hmm. give you a day of fun, yep. you know what I mean? Yeah, like And if you sure. printed like six of them, even if you broke it, yep. you'd still be able to keep flying that day. Yeah, like I Worst don't- Worst case scenario, you know? I don't think this is unflyable. Right, that's, it yeah. may not be the future of drones, Yeah. but it might get you through in a pinch. All right, we're gonna have a little fun, guys. GoPro is rolling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. We're gonna get into the flow. You got started the GoPro, right? Yes. Boom, flowing. Ooh. Boom, all cinematic. Boom. Ooh. Oh, yeah. So beautiful. Woo -hoo -hoo. He's from, the moon. from the moon. From the moon. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, my, God. oh my God. It made it out. I yeah, thought it crashed. I, know. I didn't see it. I, I was just like, what the hell? I thought it was, it was dead. dead. I thought it was dead, too. Oh, oh and then I somehow made Woo. it through. Whoa. I mean, okay, let's just my heart. Go high. My heart. Oh my I another don't one. My heart on my nerves. We don't have uh, a ladder. True. True. <laughs> we have another drone, though, to get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want to try that one. That, that, was, from, really that was from the moon, man. <laughs> I know. I went oh. like... <laughs> was, oh my gosh. Oh, like, no, no. Oh. <laughs> no well, give me the heebie jeebies Oh, my God. Oh, I hit something. Okay, we hit something. It's alive it's still. Alive, it's alive. Dude, I'm, this, is, this is really fun. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh what my the goodness! Heck? How am I still not? Oh, oh my gosh! Oh lord! Uh, I don't want to break your GoPro. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Oh, that if it happens, that one freaked out a lot. That's weird. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh! My goodness! Here it goes. No! No! Oh, oh my goodness! Oh, no, 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 oh my gosh! That's a success, <laughs> that was so, man. That was sick, that bro. Was, that, that was, was so, so nice. Stupid. For me, what a win is like. It's clearly flyable. So yeah, I, we don't need to put the GoPro back on for this, right? Because yeah. we're probably just gonna. Test it to I mean, I'm gonna intentionally durability. crash it. There's, a, there's an awesome okay. wall over there. Well, and let like, Peter do it. Yeah, you know? Peter, just like, well, there's a wall over there. Just like, yeah. So when you go full throttle, go like this so that you're at an angle so that so all, that the arm hits. Yeah, because yeah. like okay. if you hit, if you hit like this, I think right. it'd still be fine to be honest. Yeah. So. Okay. We've shown that this has a use, which is amazing. I didn't think we'd get that far. I'm honestly impressed that I was able to like pull out of the dice because I was going from just. I'm just like, oh, I'm just gonna go really high and just make it through it. And it was just like, but oh it, made it. Yeah. it made it. It made it. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it would freak out and just like pull yeah. throttle. But I mean, I thought this I episode was gonna be over in 10 seconds. Me too. Me I too. Me too. I thought we were gonna be done and we weren't gonna have anything to film. That's but I am so impressed that it actually <laughs> is useful. Like people can use these things to get them through in a pinch. Go ahead and take off Peter, and you're, you see you see a red dot in the top right corner, right? Yep, yep. Cool. Yep, you know what to do. Two red dots, all right. All right, here we go. go. Just aim for the target. You got all this. Right. <laughs> oh, this flies so much better than when I flew it the first time. Oh my yeah. goodness. All right. all right, so we painted just, the target on the wall it. for kill Peter it. to hit. Right, so he's gonna mouse. do a little bit of flying cool. and then aim for the target. See what happens. Yeah. Coming. Here we go. <laughs> oh boy, here it goes. Oh! Oh yeah, it's broken. It's broken. Oh, oh yeah, it's broken. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> oh, that was awesome. Oh my goodness. I have never intentionally cast a drone before. Oh really? my gosh. Was it awesome? Was it the best feeling ever? Yes, it was. <laughs> and it wasn't even your drone, so I'm you had to feel bad about it, right? All right, All right so, so let's assess the damage. Do we um, still got three good arms. Three good arms. This, this arm clearly took all the hit. Yeah. And it broke at a part where it usually wouldn't. And oh, it that's also true. broke in the middle. Like yeah. these are two places arms usually don't break. On the tank, right. the way you have it designed, mm -hmm. usually they break here. 
right. this one broke in the middle and at the motor. Yeah, it's so, very strange. I mean, either but, way, the fact that like three of them survived. The fact that we still have three working arms, I mean, yeah, that was like, a hard hit. That was a hard hit. And then it hit multiple hit. times too when it ricocheted yeah, off and hit the ground. Hit boom, and then bam, bam, bam. All right, huge thank you to Bamboo Labs for sending us the 3D printer and the material to make this uh, drone. It's it, honestly, it exceeded my expectations. Oh my gosh, me too, um, man. I wow. feel throttled into that wall. Yeah, That's you, you really full throttle into it, and on, only one arm broke. That's Three crazy. Are so good. <laughs> Props Dude, to, look at the back plate. Yeah, the, literally the top plate in the back has a little crush. <laughs> I mean, yeah, this was a really fun project. Let us know in the comments down below what other projects you guys want to see. Link in the description to a folder called Crazy Projects by Sean. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this one. Subscribe. We post every Monday. and you can Don't hit the, forget the bell. Yeah, don't forget the bell so you can be paid when we post every Monday. Bing. Thanks guys for watching. I'm Bubby FPV. I'm Les Flair C. I'm Peter FPV. And we'll see you next time on Rotorite. <laughs> Woo! You know what else is great about solder-free motors? What's that? Oh, it when it broke, it just unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> so I can reuse this motor.